What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed. Today is Saturday, December 24th. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, so we're going to reveal the last two stories in the short story advent calendar. Um, I might even read them both today because tomorrow is going to be a busy day, as you might imagine. So this is likely the last video of this series, although I'm thinking I might do one more where I round up my favorite stories. Um, I have a feeling there will be a pretty solid top five of standouts, depending on how the last two go, it could be more. Um, so watch for that, not tomorrow, but sometime over the coming week or two. So um, first of all, we can kind of reflect on story number 23. So this was The Lunacy of Gumbo by Paget Powell. And this was one of the standouts, actually. This was great. Um, it seems like it might be uh, more, you know, nonfiction than a lot of the other stories. I, you know, I don't know. Um, it's basically about uh, a guy who learns how to make gumbo and how that affects his life. And I mean, there were a lot of things in here that made me smile. But uh, here, I'll just read this one bit. I'm going to say here are some things that might accelerate you into grasping gumbo. Do some reading. Look at the joy, of course, then read Paul Prudholm as your real primer. Look at his pictures of roux making. See the one where the roux looks like Hershey's syrup. That is what you want. So what made me smile about that is that uh, he recommends that the first thing you do is read The Joy, and he calls it The Joy, because I'm the same. When I'm wanting to make something new, something I don't know much about, I always, always, always pull out The Joy of Cooking first, and I always call it The Joy. So, um, yeah, this made me want to go uh, eat some gumbo. Absolutely. It was great. <laughs> um, and uh, apart from that, I did attempt to read... Uh, I can't even remember the uh, the name of the story, but the one about the Nazis um, <laughs> to Benjamin, who was insisting I read it to him. We only made it to about page eight, and he told me it was boring. So, And I was skipping some of the more boring parts. I thought it was a great story. I really enjoyed it. It's just, uh, you know, maybe not for seven-year-olds, <laughs> which is fine. So let's get into it. This is number 24. I haven't been spoiled, so I don't know what this is. It looks like a, a half-eaten cookie. So this story is called Being Merry by Marina Endicott. So Marina Endicott is, um, well, she used to live in Edmonton. I don't know if she still does, and it doesn't say much in the bio. I think she might live in Toronto now. Um, but she is or was a local writer, and I haven't read any of her stuff, although I've seen her read. Um, so this is good. Another example of an author I've been meaning to get to, and I will get to do it now in short story form. Um, so, looking forward to this one, and number 25, let's see if I can hold it up right. So number 25 kind of has all the numbers from 1 to 25. It's a thick one, just like last year, uh, the last story was a very long one. This one doesn't seem as long, it's not like novella length. And this is The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle by Arthur Conan Doyle. Now, I'm pretty sure that this one actually is in my Christmas stories collection. Um, did I show that in one of the videos? I can't remember. And of course, I don't have it beside me right now. I think it's downstairs or something. But I think I have actually read this story before. So much like last year, this is a classic uh, Christmas story. Um, and it says here, The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle was first published in Strand Magazine in 1892. So uh, whether I've read it or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, this will be another chance to uh, read it, and I'll try to save it for tomorrow, um, although I might just read it tonight. We'll see how that goes. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this will be it um, for the near future. I think I will come back and round up my top five and kind of close things off sometime over the holidays. But uh, to all of you, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas, and I hope you're doing lots of reading. And if you've been reading along, I'd love to hear what your favorites are. If you have a top five, um, please do let me know in the comments below and we'll see you soon.